Uh, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with uh, Mademoiselle Olga. Hi. Hi. Yeah, so I'm here to say hi to Mademoiselle Olga. Uh, and I thought about doing this video uh, so that it becomes part of uh, my diary for this week. Uh, so, Mademoiselle Olga has been away from the vlog for a long time. Mm -hmm. Even me, personally, we have not been interacting for a long time. How long now? Mm -hmm. Months. Mm -hmm. Months, yeah. Yeah, yeah months, for yeah. months we have, not, we have not met because Mademoiselle Olga started her masters. <laughs> So oh, that is um, <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah yeah so she started her masters and I also graduated with my masters in the last two years 2019 eh? time time runs so fast mm -hmm. yeah so mm -hmm. it's already two years now since I graduated with my masters and we have just been speaking and I've been seeing my life two years ago in mm -hmm. her life mm -hmm. and uh, two years ago I wish I was on YouTube so that I will do such a video and tell you guys how I feel about my career about the masters that i was doing and about my personal life but now thank god mademoiselle Olga is in the is in these shoes right now and she's in a better position to tell us about how she feels yeah so i'll just give her time to tell us uh just to introduce tell us her name the university she is the course she's doing and then i'll continue with the questions mm. so mademoiselle holds Hello, welcome to the Godly Princess channel yeah okay mm -hmm. so hi guys mm -hmm. um, I know I'm not new here um, my name is Olga for those of you who don't know me and uh, yeah so yeah so I'm taking a master's course in um, interpretation it's something that I've always wanted to do yeah so basically that's what I'm doing yeah so mm -hmm. she's doing her course in interpretation Mm. Uh, or translation interpretation interpretation they're different what's the difference mm. between interpretation and the translation? the interpreter works with the spoken word mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and uh, the translator mm -hmm. works with the written word so ah. that's the difference yeah. ah. although, although people usually you will always hear them call uh, people talk of translation more i'm a translator but mm -hmm. yeah there's a huge difference yeah yeah, yeah. So you got it. There's a difference, mm -hmm. but people don't. Many people don't know that because even me, mm. uh, most of the time, I just find myself confusing. I called, I call interpreters, mm. uh, translators, mm. in, in, especially in church. Yeah, and in fact, it is in, in church fact, that we interpreters ban. are not even known. Oh really? Yeah, people mostly talk of of uh, translators and when you tell somebody here yeah, that interpretation they are like okay mm -hmm. you're wrong mm -hmm. they look at interpreters as people who interpret dreams mm -hmm. yeah but there's interpretation i mean mm -hmm. as, as a course as a as a as a career as a domain on its own mm -hmm. yeah all right so let's get into the quick fire mm -hmm. okay so the first question is mm -hmm. how did you apply for masters um yeah i just went to the website mm -hmm. i it's i i knew what i wanted to study mm -hmm. and i also did my research and i saw that okay uh, at uh, the university of nairobi mm -hmm. they have a center actually mm -hmm. for translation and interpretation mm -hmm. yeah they have links with the un mm -hmm. the eu so i felt like that would give me better opportunity so i just followed the normal process of online application mm -hmm. So you uh, like you did online or you, you went you went to University of Nairobi? No, physically? online. Right now everything yeah, is online. Everything is online. Uh, so and you just googled and made your decision. Yeah, yeah. I I, I had actually started it last year. Uh -huh. I had, uh, yeah, I had uploaded most of the documents last year. So mm. yeah. All right. The next question is, mm -hmm. why UN? Do you feel UN is the best university in Kenya, or it's just the name? 
Well, for me, it's not the name. Mm-hmm. I did my research, actually. Mm-hmm. By the time I was settling for UON, they had hiked their fee. Mm-hmm. By, I think, by more than 50%, mm-hmm. actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was still weighing whether I still wanted to go there, but I know that they have the facilities. Mm-hmm. And as I've mentioned, mm-hmm. this particular course, they are funded by the... Uh, they have links, rather, mm-hmm. with the UN, the mm-hmm. EU, mm-hmm. and they also have some um, universities that they work along with. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I knew that... Um, For this particular yeah, course? course? yeah. And then mm-hmm. their center also is one of a kind mm-hmm. in Eastern Central Africa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I knew that I was going to really, really get the best. Uh-huh. And um, I also tried looking around in universities in Kenya, mm-hmm. and I couldn't quite get uh-huh. one that uh, would have offered that particular course. I think I only saw two others. Ah, yeah. so you, so which uh-huh. was offering it at, at a diploma level, mm-hmm. and I think African Nazarene. Mm-hmm. So I just figured out that uh, UON would have been the best. So UON, it's a degree. It's a master's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They don't it's a master's offer it degree. at a degree level. Uh-huh. They offer it at a master's. Uh-huh. I only saw the diploma later, mm-hmm. but again, it's a specific interpretation, mm-hmm. I think, in um, community interpretation, mm-hmm. which I think is a little bit limiting. So uh-huh. the master's gives you, yeah, uh, will expose you to a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's not just the name, mm-hmm. University of Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Is a better place as compared to all yeah, yeah, the other universities. Yeah, for me, definitely. Why do you think so, though? That it's a uh, why it's a uh, it's it, it's actually advantaged as compared to all the other universities. Uh, regarding my course, I'm not so sure about other courses. Mm-hmm. If I was doing an MBA, mm-hmm. I definitely would not have tied myself to UON. Uh huh. Yeah, as I've said, you and they have a um, fully fledged center mm-hmm. for translation and interpretation, mm-hmm. one of its kind mm-hmm. in Eastern Central Africa. So mm-hmm. that's why I opted to, mm-hmm. to study there. Okay. But if I was doing a different course, mm-hmm. honestly, I, their fee has skyrocketed. Oh, yeah, and, uh, yeah their fee is high. Yeah, yeah, I would have yeah their fee is high as compared to all the other universities. Yeah, yeah, ah. they've had their fee. They've had their fee. Okay. Mm. I say hold. <laughs> I think we would have gone for the nini for, for the, the for the tripod. <laughs> <laughs> but I told you and you insisted. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. number question number three. Mm. When is the best time to do your masters? Immediately after a degree mm. or after working for a while? Hey, it's hard <laughs> when you're working. <laughs> Currently I think I'm full of regrets. Uh-huh. I'm just wondering where I was all this time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think if you have the opportunity, if you have the resources, hey, then do it immediately after your undergraduate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Because once you've been working for a while, mm-hmm. it is not easy. Mm-hmm. Juggling between this and work, and mm-hmm. I don't know if it's how things are in Kenya, mm-hmm. but there's even no treatment like, you know, it's supposed to be part-time. Mm-hmm. You are given loads of mm-hmm. assignments. Mm-hmm. It's it's a not easy. That's mm-hmm. what I'd say. But mm-hmm. then again, mm-hmm. nothing comes easy. So yeah, yeah. But what do you think? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. if you wh- when was the earliest time mm-hmm. you could have done this masters? Um, mm-hmm. Okay, personally, mm-hmm. I think at some point when I started working, mm-hmm. when I just started working, mm-hmm. because then again, sometimes um, uh, the funds is also a problem. Mm-hmm. But I think. Uh, just start small mm-hmm. because anyway that is what I'm now doing mm-hmm. I've started small yeah. but now you see I have the disadvantage of the fee has gone up yeah and I feel I should have just started it without giving it much thought honestly there was absolutely nothing that was holding me ah yeah. okay but because for me mm. from for me uh, my feeling was and is still different mm. I feel like people should this is a right time mm-hmm. for you to do masters because mm-hmm. for example for me mm-hmm. if okay me i did my masters immediately after a degree mm-hmm. like the next year after mm-hmm. I, I, like i graduated in december and i registered for the masters in december mm-hmm. but by the time I'd, i was finishing my masters i was not even like properly employed mm-hmm. so by the time the my first job was an entry job mm-hmm. so tell me mm-hmm. Where was I going to use this masters? Mm. Yeah, so uh, right now I, I my feeling is mm. like uh, people mm. 
it should do their masters when when they need it later mm. once you've worked and then there's need for it mm. it should not just uh, be a paper that you keep in your wardrobe you go do mm. the masters mm. when you actually need it or you see mm. the need for it mm. in the near future yeah. because it ends up being a waste of money and a waste of time mm. and a waste of life yeah. just my thought i feel like this that, that this time that you're doing your masters mm. is the best time to do it that's just my well, feeling well i think okay you see for me mm. i would say okay fine i don't have a uh, um a really good reason mm-hmm. for having delayed it mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. because yeah i think i've been working mm-hmm. ever since i graduated mm-hmm. maybe the jobs probably were not that well paying mm-hmm. but i could have just started small yeah. i could have just started small yeah yeah and go to school as i work so if you have the resources mm-hmm. you 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 can always go that direction mm-hmm. and also as you're working you're mm-hmm. building experience because part of the reason again that's making me to go back to school yeah. is because sometimes again um uh those those you you look at your colleagues who probably have advanced their studies mm-hmm. definitely even during our appraisals mm-hmm. and they stand a better chance even mm-hmm. their bargaining power mm-hmm. is higher compared to you who is just there with your yeah. degree yeah. so it's important and and don't just say that oh you will wait for for the time when you feel like you need it mm-hmm. this i i feel like there's never a good time mm-hmm. and then as years progress mm-hmm. more responsibilities will be coming in yeah. so yeah So just start small and yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. It's your video. I accept mm-hmm. I accept that opinion. Yeah. And I respect it. Mm-hmm. But uh as much as you're trying to convince me that uh once you have the paper, mm-hmm. you have a higher bargaining power. Mm-hmm. But I f- okay, maybe I'm just I'm just coming from mm-hmm. the point where where I work. Mm-hmm. like uh, and most this is uh this is uh, common in different in so many organizations where growth mm. is really is slow mm. and so as much as you you want to begin unless unless you are flexible in terms of looking for a job here and then there mm. but if you want to stay in an organization for for a while mm. even so where are you going to begin because there's a way the employers mm. just make make use of you <laughs> they just yeah. make use of They you there's no use there's no you. room for bargaining mm, yeah. but that's that again should be an eye opener for you to know that maybe with probably just your degree yeah. or your diploma mm-hmm. you probably may not advance beyond that place yeah and i think your employer also mm-hmm. knows mm-hmm. they also know that ah this mm-hmm. one mm-hmm. because uh, i don't know there are normally different salary scales mm-hmm. for different yeah. levels yeah. of education yeah. yeah like for us mm-hmm. me i think um if there ever recruitment exercises that have ever taken part in mm-hmm. then definitely the person who has a masters mm-hmm. their bargaining power can't be the same as that who has uh, the degree Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm 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 slightly convinced. Mm. Yeah, okay. for me me I've seen but what it, I I've agree to work that way. So, mm. yeah, definitely there's a part of experience mm. and um the educational level. Mm-hmm. But uh somebody who has a okay, normally there's that entry level mm-hmm. which is definitely um an undergraduate degree. Mm-hmm. So there's that level and mm-hmm. then there's okay, the masters, mm-hmm. probably masters with experience mm-hmm. or without experience. So yes, it's it's it's, it's something that's crucial. Okay, let's go to the next question. Mm. Okay, the next question is mm-hmm. how do you manage work mm. and school and personal time? Mm, definitely there are parts that are suffering like personal time. Mm-hmm. Uh but I also tell myself that um it's not something that I'm going to do forever. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I've had to adjust and just go with the flow. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's for a time. Yeah, it's for a time. Yeah. Mm. and nothing comes easy nothing comes easy mm. yeah so if you're thinking of doing your masters just know it's uh, it's going to involve your personal time you're going to have to forgo certain time that you used to enjoy but it's only for a time okay, yeah. yeah the next question is mm-hmm. how is it doing masters post covid mm. or we are still we are still in the covid season yeah, we are still in the yeah. covid yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay for me I'd say it's um it feels like a blessing in this guys mm-hmm. because the lessons are being conducted online mm-hmm. so at least that comes with flexibility yeah. of um learning from the house 
Yeah, because I'm just thinking that if it were before COVID, mm-hmm. then I would have to be getting home very late. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. right now my worry is just making it at home after work on time. Then after the lesson I'm at home. But yeah. if it were before COVID, yeah. uh, then definitely I would be thinking of, okay, fine, I have to find myself in school. Yeah. And then I'll still be thinking, okay, so what time will I get back home? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And then you're also saving on transport mm, costs. Transport, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mm. Nice. The next question, mm. how did you decide? Oh, before we, we go to that, maybe you can tell us some of the, you've told us just a con, mm. just you can now tell us the pro con of the, like what are some of the disadvantages or mm. or the challenges you're facing mm. doing masters during this time. Mm, yeah. You've only spoken of a, a benefit like an advantage mm-hmm. that you have that mm. uh, you you get to do your classes at home. Mm. So you're saving on transport costs yeah. and you're so uh, you're you're not worried of time mm. of uh, arriving at home. Mm-hmm. But now, what are some of the challenges? Mm of uh, doing your master's online, virtually. Mm, okay, as always, you can never compare uh, virtual learning mm. with physical learning, mm. so definitely you're missing that one-on-one interaction with mm-hmm. the lecturers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have uh, classmates that... Um, you don't know personally. Yeah, yeah, you don't know them personally, yeah. so you just get to interact virtually. Yeah. And then also maybe access to facilities, like I your know library. there's a fully flayed... Um, a center yeah. with boots and all these things, but yeah. now those are things we probably will just hear about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, mm. because you, you 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 could still create time to go, but you don't have that time. Mm-hmm. You don't have that time. Yeah, because yeah. you're still working. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. The next question is, mm-hmm. how did you decide on the master's course to study? Mm, uh, okay, so for me, mm-hmm. I've always had a passion for languages. Mm-hmm. For from way, 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 way back. Mm-hmm. So, um, it was somewhat easy for mm-hmm. me to decide on that. Mm-hmm. And then, um, I've always been interpreting in church mm-hmm. for, for, for a long time. Mm-hmm. And as much as I really didn't think like, okay, translation, interpretation was something I could have taken seriously, mm-hmm. I, I feel like um, it always kept calling me. Because uh-huh. uh, I think here in Kenya, the moment somebody knows that you are able to speak a foreign language yeah. if they hear of a conference and they are looking for somebody somebody will always reach mm-hmm. out yeah, so yeah. for me i think i kept getting that yeah. and then uh sometimes they don't pay you so well yeah. because you are not trained yeah yeah they just okay so you you trained for this no mm-hmm. but you can speak yes yeah. so the pay pay definitely was low so i just felt like okay let me just go have proper training yeah. and have accreditation mm-hmm. and a certificate mm-hmm. to show that you know I'm trained in this so mm-hmm. then my bargaining power will be higher yeah yes and I will also just have that confidence of knowing that you know I, I have the relevant expertise yeah yeah true mm-hmm. that's easy mm-hmm. uh, for you I wish uh, you could what do you think about mm-hmm. some people who just do any course? Uh, mm. Because, for example, you mm. like this uh, translation course you're doing. Mm. Is it relating related to your, the work that you're doing currently? Uh, not really. Not uh-huh. really. It's and just a passion. Yeah. And by the way, mm-hmm. I would also say that uh, uh, at some point I was a little bit uh, jittery because mm-hmm. I was like, okay, should I rather maybe not advance towards my career of mm-hmm. education? Mm-hmm. Or because I also felt like anyway interpretation would have taken me out of my career yeah, as it yeah, were. Yeah. But then again, as I've said, I've been trying to run away from this professional interpreting. Yeah. But always, always somebody is calling me. Mm-hmm. So I, I just felt like you know, let me just get this. So for out you, of my way. yours is just a passion. Yeah, but it's, it's not a passion. related to the work that you do. Not that much. Yeah, not that much. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Because there are times I've had people who do, like someone is doing community community development. And they are journalists. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mm. So anyway, you can you can choose a master's course that yeah. is not related to the work that you yeah do. that you do. Yeah. Nice. Mm. The next question is, mm-hmm. 
now that people can make easy money on the social media, mm-hmm. why pursue education anyway? It no, may, it, you, it may you, not you, work for everybody. <laughs> so I mean, you just 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 be have something, you know. For have something, have something, have your education. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are people who may have succeeded yeah. on social media, mm-hmm. but it's not a guarantee that it's going to work for everyone. Yeah. So I, I feel like that's that. It's fifty fifty. It's mm-hmm. something you're not so sure about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I, I had some discussion on radio. Mm-hmm. Uh, someone was asking, it's it's this discussions on radio where, where people send their dilemma. Mm-hmm. So someone was asking mm-hmm. um, that he mm-hmm. is not into education, mm-hmm. but he is trained mm-hmm. in education, mm-hmm. and his parents mm-hmm. want him to like. Uh, go do his masters and then get a TSC number. Mm-hmm. Uh, TSC number is, is now what? Now, for someone who is not Kenyan, mm, uh, for somebody who is not Kenyan, uh-huh. uh, the TSC number is um, okay. It is that registration number, but you, that you're given by the Teacher Service Commission. Ah. So, meaning the Teacher Service Commission is in charge of all the teachers in the country. So, whether they are international teachers. Mm-hmm as long as you're in Kenya, so whether it's an international school mm-hmm. or it's a public school mm-hmm. or it's a private school. Mm-hmm. So you it's like your license. Yeah. I would say like a doctor's license. For your your, your staff number. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So the person was I uh, was I was saying mm-hmm. he's not into all these things his parents are pushing him to do because him is interested in uh, in authoring books so he's a writer mm. yeah he's interested in, in writing mm. and uh, in drawing mm-hmm. and that's what he wants to pursue mm. and then the 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 person like the the radio journalist mm. uh, is actually Robert Burale mm. so Robert Burale was telling him mm. that you why not do it all Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why not do it all? Yeah. So I think that could be a, the best answer for this question. Yeah. That as much as there's good money on the social media, mm. but why not do it all? Yeah. If yeah. you have the chance, you yeah. have the opportunity. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. You can benefit from them. You can benefit from all the mm. all of them, mm. Mm. Yeah. Because even me, I'm a master's graduate. I am a I go uh, on an eight to five job, mm. and I'm still on YouTube. Mm. Yeah. So you can uh, you can do them all. Mm. Yeah, the next question is, mm-hmm. uh, how did you raise money for masters? Yeah, I just saved. You saved mm-hmm. over time. Yeah, over time mm-hmm. because I've been working for quite some time, and mm-hmm. I'm still continuing to to you know. I mean, I think with Kenya, yeah, um, you start small mm-hmm. with whatever you have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you you will never be ready. Mm-hmm. You will probably may never have all the all the finance that you need mm-hmm. so yeah if you can take a loan fine go ahead take a loan yeah save yeah yeah so yeah. you you saved but uh s- some people can save some people can get loans <laughs> yeah <laughs> why not <laughs> yeah hey, getting getting a loan to do masters though and it's, it's an investment so it's an investment that is not going to you're not going to get returns immediately Okay, I don't know. Because for, some people for, for us actually mm-hmm. the encouragement that people have always given me, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. tell me that you know mm-hmm. uh, with that course mm-hmm. uh, you may want to cry about the fee mm-hmm. but if it goes through and mm-hmm. do it so well that's money it will that pay you can, it back. You yeah, you, within a month. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Well so someone can pay you like within a month for a million. Yeah, half a million. <laughs> Because Where? if, if yeah. per day, if per day, the standard rate should be like, um, if they underpay you, it mm. should be uh, five hundred dollars. Yeah, per day. but usually it's supposed to be like uh, seven hundred USD. That mm-hmm. is standard. Yeah. So if they pay so you what if, on the lower side, what if you're going to a conference now? Yeah, that's the conference that is I'm going talking on. About. Yeah, for one week or two weeks. Yeah, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so you can get a loan, you can save over time, mm-hmm. have the dream, you can save. Saving is hard, but when you have a dream, you work towards it. Yeah. The next one is, is, is master's necessary or a must? Or we mm-hmm. can just leave it at a degree. 
Mm, I think I had touched on this. It's good for you to always have progression. Mm. There are certain levels mm. that if you want to reach, mm-hmm. then it will also require mm. a certain level of education. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, so, if you can so it's important. It's important. Yeah. yeah. Don't just be comfortable with where you are. Yeah. Yeah. If you can continue to masters. Yeah. The good. better. Mm. Yeah. The better. Mm. And finally, the last question. Mm. Why should people pursue higher education mm. and yet mm. there are no jobs? Mm. If you think that it, education is expensive, try ignorance. ignorance. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes it's not also a must that mm. this will secure you the job. Mm-hmm. Like for me, I'm just looking at it and I'm like, okay, fine. Mm-hmm. I, w- I would have expertise. Mm-hmm. So even if you call me and you don't necessarily pay me, mm-hmm. but I have that confidence. So it's also a plus on my end. Mm-hmm. So there's a way education opens up your mind mm-hmm. to so many things. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you can still do your master's and stay unemployed. Uh, and and that would also open your mind. I I mean, the end goal I feel should not always be employment as such. Yeah. You, that's that that expertise, mm-hmm. the knowledge you get, mm-hmm. can also help you to create employment. Yeah. yeah. True. But yeah. but I also think mm-hmm. like um, the person who can ask such a question mm-hmm. is someone who has not done their masters or someone who has not pursued higher education higher or education. done even their degree that's a question for someone who is who mm-hmm. does not want to to progress to progress mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. Uh, like just today mm-hmm. i was called by a random number mm-hmm. of someone who wants to recommend me for a job and we were doing our masters two years ago in mm-hmm. fact he didn't even graduate so it's like we 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 stopped interacting like two and a half years because mm. by by the time we were doing our last semester mm. he dropped out mm. so he's calling me two two and a half years later yeah and he just got my number from somewhere he's like you know what I heard that you have been working in such a place mm. and so you have a, a higher chance of working in such an organization could you want to work and I'm, I was like what mm. yeah so it's the network that you call, you also uh get mm-hmm. to Creation. to create mm-hmm. when you are doing your masters when you're doing your degree mm-hmm. if you just interact well if if for me i wish mm-hmm. someone would open my mind when i was doing my degree because mm-hmm. for me i didn't be misbehave I, I I didn't I don't have regrets mm. about my life in in the university when I was doing my degree, mm. but in terms of connections, I didn't create. Mm, you did, yeah. Yeah, I not don't. Much, I, yeah, I don't have. I don't. Have, but some people did. Oh, some, some people, people did. still have a WhatsApp of old whatever university, old old boys, old girls of such a such a university, mm. and those things are so important. Mm. They are connections that mm. you know follow you. All through, all through uh, your life mm-hmm. yeah so if you, if someone is undergraduate mm-hmm. in masters mm-hmm. make sure as much as you're reading 90% of the time mm-hmm. create connections yeah, create, create connections. network yeah. mm-hmm. and creating network is something as simple as mm-hmm. uh, my name is so-and-so I work in such an organization or if you are an undergraduate you're like my name is so-and-so mm-hmm. I come from such a place mm-hmm. I, uh, I'm it's so nice to meet you mm-hmm. here is my number we can interact and then every time you meet you're like hi 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 you know just that hi mm-hmm. it creates a connection that someone will remember yeah yeah mm-hmm. so like that's the thing i wish someone told me i will i will not be have i will not have been uh me i was rigid mm-hmm. yeah I, I was just protecting myself in undergraduate and mm-hmm. i ended up not creating mm-hmm. n- connections, connections mm-hmm. and that really affected me when i finished my first my first degree mm-hmm. and that that actually explains why I went to do my masters because I didn't have a job I didn't have anything to do mm-hmm. so it's like the best thing to do now that I have parents who can pay for the masters I have friends who can help me uh, get some fundraising and start off why not mm-hmm. yeah but if I had connection I would have started my job immediately because mm-hmm. friends call friends yeah. anyway this video has been too long than I planned mm-hmm. I hope this has been insightful mm-hmm. Thank you so much, Mademoiselle. Mm-hmm. Do you have uh, your concluding remarks? 
mm-hmm. as far as career is concerned yeah so something you you wish you will tell your younger self as far as career is concerned or you wish you can just tell you know encourage someone who is younger or even someone your age mm-hmm. as far as career career is concerned yeah so always follow that which um that thing that um you know lights your heart yeah yeah so follow your heart follow mm. your heart yeah that's so true following your heart mm. yeah because doing what you love yeah, is so important you love, when you yeah. do something that you love you don't struggle doing it mm-hmm. yeah so true also wish someone told me that but mm-hmm. thank god me i've had like good mentorship yeah. i've had uh, good family members parents who advised me mm-hmm. yeah but that's really a good advice follow your heart as in do a degree that you're comfortable and you love mm. because when you start working there are some challenges that you can only deal with when you love something otherwise god bless you so much thank you for coming to this week's diary uh, mademoiselle as much as you're busy when you get time please call me so that uh, you can say hi to my fans because they love you yeah thank you do you love them i do <laughs> Okay, so I so, so God bless you. Cheers. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Your mama's flowers. Beautiful. Hey, your mama will tear BD. Will tear BD. Chinese zoom, zoom, zoom. Ooh. Isn't the bit is anyone a friend and even a two on a time? Mungo ko. Say, Mungo ko ko na more flowers. So, kila siku lazima mwaga maji but at least mko na. Hearing the word of God, hearing comes by Listening to the word of God, I pray you get faith The size of a mustard seed ain't grow We know that some of you know just what to do with it Faith comes by, hearing the word of God Enough that you've heard it Please pick up the word of God, I pray you get faith